here is we have a figure okay let me draw the figure in this figure you have an inclined plane you have a block on the plane and you have a string attached to this block and then this in plane is making an angle of theta with the x direction. What is the difference in this problem as compared to the other problems that we have done so far? The other problems were only the x axis and the y axis we were talking about perpendicular axis horizontal vertical. In this case this is an inclined plane. Inclined plane means that it is making a certain angle with the x axis and now we will see how we will do this ok. Now, we have a cord which is pulling on a box uh, um, inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So, theta is given to be 30 degrees and in this case we have the box has a mass m is equal to 5 kg. So, we have theta is equal to 30 de degrees the mass m is equal to 5 kg and we have the force from the cord has a magnitude T is equal to 25 Newtons. Whenever you are pulling a string, you know there is a force and this force is called tension. So, this is equal to 25 Newtons. Okay. Now, substituting this result into this equation that we had previously, you remember we had the uh, equation T is equal to no sorry wait. First of all what is the first step we have to do here? Let us try to understand. We, we, we have to draw the vector forces the vector diagram right. So, what are the forces acting in this case? We will represent the box by a point and we will try to understand the forces. So, one of the forces that will act on this uh, box will be the gravitational force which is always going vertically downwards. So, this gravitational force is called F g. So, let us draw F g going vertically downwards. I can write it on this side F g and then we have the normal force. If this was the box the normal means it is perpendicular to this plane of the box. So, it goes in this direction and this is called F n. Okay. And we have a tension the string which is pulling it towards upwards. So, this is T this is another force. Now, in this case this will be the x direction this will be the y direction this is the angle theta. So, it is a little bit the axis have rotated by an angle of theta. And now in this case the first step is you have to resolve the forces into x and y components which we can do by dropping a perpendicular here and here. Okay. So, in this case this will be one force and this will be the second force this will be m g sin theta this will be m g cos theta. Now, you can see all the forces are along x and y direction although it is not x and y like we normally have it is a rotated by theta. But now we are following um, two axes and we can write the equation. So, the equation along x axis x axis is now this one. So, we have T going in that direction and opposite to T we have this this force here this will be equal to this one this is m g sin theta. So, T minus m g sin theta is equal to m a. So, the total resultant will produce a certain acceleration which will be m a. So, when we can write these values then we can find the value of a. So, we can substitute the value of T which is 25 Newtons we can put m which is 5 kg we can put sin of 30 and this will be equal to again m multiply by a. So, we can also bring the a to this side a is equal to t minus m g sin theta over 
m. Now you can put the values and you can find this answer. So what will be the answer? It will be 5 kg. No, sorry, this is 25 newtons minus 5 kg multiply by let me erase this one let us do it like this. So, this is 9.8 meter per second squared this is sin 30 degrees divided by m which is 5 kg. So, what is the answer? Please calculate this. So, what is the answer? You know that you have a lab today at 2 o'clock, okay? Before you come to the lab, please, I hope you have already uh, studied the relevant material as I have already uploaded it on Moodle. So, that is projectile motion 1. So, look at the video there and also read this material from your worksheets. So, that and also we have done the chapter relevant to projectile motion. You are familiar with all the concepts and all the equations like for the range and the angle and so on. So, that when you come to the lab, you can directly go and start performing and you do not waste time, okay. So, what was the answer? 0 0.1 meter per second squared. So, we have solved it, we have solved the acceleration. Was it difficult? Any questions? Okay, I would like to draw your attention to page number 1 of this chapter. This is interesting. Did you read this? The title page of every chapter has a problem, which is very interesting. Okay, so I would like to draw your attention to this and I will ask you as a homework to go and solve this question, okay, on page on the title page of the chapter, okay. But remember there is a graded homework on Moodle as well. Have you done it? How many people have done it? Good. Okay. Please complete it because the deadline is 20th 4 p.m. Or of course, do not leave it to the last point. Do not tell me that you did not have internet or there was some computer problem because you have had a number of days to do this. So, do not wait till the last moment. You can have some technical issue. You can have some internet issue. So, before that you sit down and you solve it and you do it. And it is like an open book thing. You know, you are allowed to work it out, okay. So, when you look at this, uh, this problem that is on the title of your uh, book chapter is related to force and motion which is what we are studying, right. So, it is about a roller coaster ride that you all like to do, but then a roller coaster ride is based on physics, you know. Okay, so in this case we enjoy this these rides, but we have to also understand the physics that is happening be behind this. So, there is force, there is acceleration, there is uh, the fear element as well. What creates the fear element? Okay, is it a sudden change in the motion? Is it the height? Is it the acceleration? So, you can try to solve this and then understand and explain how this relates to the rights and the fear that they induce, okay. 
So, I think this is uh, fine you can complete this revise this practice this and then also please submit the homework that is due if you have not done so already and submit it before do not wait till the last day ok. And then we can go to the lab at 2 pm.